Today we're going to be looking at how to record video games on Windows 10 as there have been a few issues, so stay tuned. So basically the reason you're probably watching this video is because you're having the same issue as many other people around the world with Windows 10 and that is that when you're trying to record a video game with an old software like Fraps, DX Tori, any kind of software like that, you get the same issue where you, it either doesn't register on the game, it freezes when you load into the game or it just doesn't open basically. So a lot of people have been having this issue. And I think I found a solution today, which I'll help you out with. Um, so we will be going over to the desktop eventually. So I just want to speak about a few things. The first solution that I found is using OBS. Now OBS is mainly used for live streams, I know. However, it can be used to record gameplay. And in this case, this is what I'm going to be using. And for me, it has worked and I do like it. So I'm going to be basically testing it on the Call of Duty Black Ops free beta as that is what's out at the moment. So if we just move over to the desktop and I shall see you there. 12 seconds later. Okay, and we're on the desktop. So basically guys, what I had to do is I had to download another piece of software so that I could record my desktop because obviously you can't record with OBS and then also show OBS otherwise it creates like a weird effect. So what I'm gonna do ooh, sorry about that. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open OBS. So I've got obviously um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 playing in the background. It's lagging a little bit because um, Camtasia is not that great of a software to use but it's good enough for what we need to do. So ignore the just ignore the like kind of lagginess of it. It's basically there. So what I've done is um I've got it here. I've got all my other ones. Um what you need to do is when you first get OBS, it is free. So when you get it, uh, you'll be like you'll come to hold on. Uh, I'll just do this for purposes, I, I don't really need it, it's fine. Um, so what you do is you'll be presented with this when you first get OBS. You'll then have to click on add scene, um, I'm going to call this uh, BO3. Once you've got that, you're then going to go to sources, right click on it and click add. And then if you want to um, capture a window, you take that, obviously you monitor that image, etc, etc. It's quite self-explanatory, but we want to capture a game, so we go to down to game, back, uh, game capture. We then change it to black ops free beta. Then click OK. Now what we do is we have the applications list. So this is what it will be recording. So if you click the arrow or the drop down menu and then have a look down. So as you can see it's Black Ops 3 Call of Duty ship Sorty Sam because that's the name of my character. And what you do is then you, uh, if it's not there just click refresh a couple of times and maybe it will be there. So click that. Um, stretch image to screen, we want to do that. Uh, and that's all fine. Just copy over those settings if you're doing this part with me. Then you want to kind of click OK. And then once you've done that, just quickly preview the stream if you can, and you'll see it's there. And then stop preview. Then what you want to do is you want to go to settings, and then settings profile for me is recording. And then once you go down, once you've done that, you go down to encoding. Now I currently have my max bit rate at 3,500 because that's when I'm streaming. Um, I don't know how much you need to change it to kind of do it on how good your upload speed is. And then you want to go to broadcast settings. Mine's in file output. Sometimes it will start with uh, the live stream one, but you're going to want to change it to file output. You could call it whatever you want. Um, so you could click browse on the file path. You go to the streams and then you've got to create a name. So I'm going to call it uh, BO3 Beta. And then I'm going to click OK to save. And then when that's um, recorded, it will save there in that fi file. Then you want to go 
uh, click video, but then it'll come up with save, and you do that. Uh, you want to gonna click your monitor. Yes, I have, unfortunately have an AMD RAID on, um, as it's not that great of a card. I'm hopefully gonna get a new one soon. Hopefully, maybe if I can. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Save that. Uh, you gotta choose your audio device. Devices. Play around with this bit. Um, as it is like up to you. I've got the Razer Surround option for my headphones. Um, you might not, so yeah. So you just play around with it. Hotkeys, obviously this is up to you. You choose what you want. It's pretty self-explanatory. The Advanced, um, I didn't really touch any of this. I kind of left uh, the defaults on. Obviously I did the 61 to 120 FPS in thingy. Um, I probably shouldn't do because I don't want that. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there is anything. Nope. Uh, quick sync and code. I didn't touch that. I didn't touch this. Scene switcher. You can't do this, but this is mainly primarily for live streams, as this software is used for live streaming. Once you've done that, just click Enter or OK, and then that'll be finished. Once again, we're going to then preview the stream just to see what it's like. As you can see down here, it's doing that that amount of gigabytes a second. Um, which I'm not too sure if that's good or bad, but anyway, um, so that's there. Just gonna click, just check in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to show you the footage over on the uh, recording itself. So I'm gonna quickly record myself playing um, using OBS, obviously, and it's probably gonna be a really bad game, but. I'll do that anyway. So, just bear with me two seconds. I'm gonna stop preview. I'm also gonna then stop the recording for the screen, and then I'll be in the game. Okay, guys. As you can see, we are in the Black Ops Free Beta, and we're on the main loading screen right now in the main menu. Um, as you can see, it's probably it's it's decent quality. It's not too bad. It's not the best, but it's good enough for what you want to do. Um, obviously, this software requires your like internet to be really good for better recording for some reason. My internet's not that great at the moment, um, so obviously that's why I haven't got exactly the best quality. However, it is it's still good. Like I really uh, I think it's quite quite good, as you can see. So I'm going to keep this video short, I'm not going to show you any gameplay, that will be coming up in a later video um, in the next couple of days because I want to kind of keep that to its own separate video. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, kind of tutorial demonstration, um, feel free to leave any like questions or comments in the, the, uh, in the uh, comment section, sorry. Uh, leave a like if you found this helpful and I shall see you guys in the next one. So thank you very much guys and uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.